why does it keep telling me to rotate the device? I don't want to do it that way. That's stupid. Why is it not letting me... Hi guys, sorry, I'm trying to mess with the camera. I want it in landscape mode. Why won't it let me do landscape mode? See, it tells me to rotate the device. Hi, vintage crazed. Sorry, you're getting a close-up of my face. <laughs> I cannot figure this out. This is so stupid. Whatever. It keeps telling me to rotate it, so I'm rotating it to this way, and I don't know what it's going to turn out like. Sorry. <laughs> huh? Pull down from the top. Okay, my son's trying to tell me. And there should be, like, a button with, like, arrows. With no, there's no buttons. There's no arrows. There's no nothing. You come around here and look. No. Well, there's only stuff at the bottom, Josh. Mm. Now rotate it. It's still going rotate device. It wants me to go back the other way. Oh Whatever. Stupid thing. <sighs> okay, who do I have? We have Alma. Okay, and then it all just disappeared. Dang. Y'all, I stink at this. Okay. We have Vintage Craze, the overstuffed house. Hi. If you start filming with the phone straight, oh, no wonder. What does it look bad? Does it look bad? I had it turned sideways when I started. It will film on live in the position that you have the phone in. If you need wide, you need to start with the See, started it, and I had the phone sideways, so I don't know why it did this. It's retarded. Because I had it in the, um, you know, I had it in the position. You're just small. Gotcha. Well, that's stupid. And every time I try to flip it back, it don't let me do it. So, well... <sighs> okay, guys. I guess I'm just going to start. Um, well, me looking smaller, I guess, is probably a good thing. Um, I actually... What did you say? Oh, yeah, well. Okay, Alma, it looks good to you. Well, that's good. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll we'll try it. Okay, the picture's clear. Well, that's good. Okay, believe it or not, okay, it's been months and months and months since I've went to Goodwill because, you know, I just, I never find anything. And like I always tell you, if I try to go to Goodwill and um, I use a cart, it's always like, it hexes me. It's like bad juju or something because then I never find anything. Okay, well, I went to the Goodwill that's close to my house. This is kind of a different one, and they never have anything. And for some reason, um, you don't see my, past my shoulders. Okay, well, maybe I should go down. Better? Better? Not better? <laughs> Somebody say something. I don't know, I got a Okay, it's better. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this is only my third live. I'm sorry. Oh, the thrill of the thrift. Hi. How are you? <laughs> But anyways, like I said, I never go to Goodwill. I never have any luck there, and it's part of 
part of the reason why I don't go is just because I buy such odd stuff that I have a really hard time finding anything. So, believe it or not, I scored a Goodwill and that's like just unheard of for me anyways. So, um, yeah, because you usually, I mean, my Goodwill thrift hauls are just like, um, I don't know, they're bombs. And it's generally a miss, not a hit. <laughs> so, yeah. But anyways, I actually got a pair of these right here. And if you look at the tops, they're just so unique. They're not the normal ruffle that you see. So these are probably, um, you know, sometime um, in the late 1800s, probably Victorian era. And believe it or not, I got them for $8 a piece. And... Um, these go for like upwards of $70 a piece just because of the, um, you know, I mean the tops. You don't see anything with the tops like this. I searched and searched and searched and couldn't find anything. And they're in excellent condition, excellent condition. So when I seen these, I snabbed them. So I'm like walking around like <laughs> walking around like that in goodwill and, uh, they're just, I mean, they're gorgeous. It, I don't know how well you're seeing this, but they're gorgeous. So, I got those. So, that was a whopping $16 right there. And then the other stuff I got from Goodwill is, look at this gorgeous jewelry box. And this was, this is an old one. And it's silver plate. It's heavy as, as heck. Um, but right there it's got the velvet lining and everything so it is i mean i was ecstatic when i found this so i grabbed this i grabbed this piece too and then i found this too this one the small one this is another silver and this one is also got a lining i'm not sure if somebody replaced it or something but it's kind of an orangey red and it's not the velvet, it's more of a satin. If you can see, it's kind of like a Halloween orange. But it's very pretty. And I got this one for $4 at Goodwill. So, and also, well, I'm going to have to show you something else first because I've got the other stuff that I got from Goodwill buried right now. Um, <laughs> but... Um, if you watch me, you know to expect the unexpected, so, um, there you go, guys. <laughs> this is, um, part of, remember I showed you the cow vertebrae if you watched my last live? <laughs> but this is the skull that I found. And it's still, you know, farm fresh. It's got, you know, dirt and leaves and everything else all over it. But, um, I am going to... Oh, Chapter 2 Vintage. Hi, Alex. Um, oh, Debbie's here, my sister-in-law. Hi, Debbie. But this I found. And this thing is in excellent condition. It's not busted or anything like that. And this is actually worth, you know, quite a bit of money. And this was... Something I forged from the forest, so, um, I think it's cool, but, you know, it's got all the teeth and everything in there still. So, I got that. Okay, now I can get to the stuff that I got from Goodwill, the rest of it. Okay. Sorry, guys. Um, believe it or not, okay, I paid $25, $25 for this, and I got a whole set of the Hall Woodland Pottery. They call this, um, I guess, a window box is what they technically call it. So... There's a whole set here, so I got this, and this is all 
you know, this was all together. So $25 for all of this. This piece was with it. And this is, um, you know, the sugar, the sugar boil. Okay. And then there was the creamer right here. And then they call this a ewer, and I guess the reason why they call it that is just it's kind of shaped like a pitcher, kind of like a vase. But this was in the set, too. And, um, you know, they're all marked on the bottom with hull, and they have the number on the bottom of them. And I got all four pieces at Goodwill, um, $25. So I thought that was pretty good, considering... Um, the large piece, this piece right here, um, goes for around, I don't know, between 40 and $50 by itself. So, anyways, I was happy. Um, first time I've scored a good one in a long time. And what's funny about it is there, um, this guy, I know him because he's an antique dealer. And he walked in 10 minutes after me. And I was at the checkout with all the goodies. And, you know, I... Of course, picked through everything that was worth picking. That was, you know, antique or whatever. <laughs> and I was still in the car when he left. And he left empty-handed. He didn't get anything. So I was kind of like cheesing real big. Like, yeah, I got there before you did. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. He kind of gave me a look. So he probably wasn't real happy. But, you know, I got there before he did. So, anyways. Okay. And then, these are kind of a fun item. I'm a sniper. <laughs> Is that what you said? Southern Buckeye? Yeah. Oh, well, you know, stuff happens. You know, and if they would have got in before me, which happens a lot, because, you know, I wouldn't have been upset about it, you know. It's just the name of the game, you know. But I got these guys. I actually got four of them. And these are cool. Um, I'm going to try to show you one that will probably come off better. But these are Occupied Japan. And they're cute little handheld dexterity games. Empty nesting high. But yeah, this one's a kitty cat. And they still, they're still in excellent condition. And I got four of them for like $25, and they're worth $20 a piece because they're, you know, occupied Japan. They're old. They're cute. They're just cute little display items. But the one that I kept, of course, was the clown. But this is a lion right here. And then this looks just like a little boy or something. I don't know. That's what it looks like to me. So... Okay, so I got those, so I ended up getting, like I said, four of them. I kept the clown for myself, and um, so I got $80 worth of merchandise for 25 so I think I did pretty good on that, too. And I like to, you know, kind of offer a variety in my shop, so I like to get toys in my shop, but specific toys. So, like, this right here... This is called Mr. Pips, um, and it's, I think the language it was in, it was in kind of like a, I don't know, Swiss or something like that, but I bought him to resell him, and when I seen him when he came, I'm like in love with him. <laughs> So, he may live with me for a little while before, you know, maybe I get bored with him and then decide to, you know, list him on my Etsy shop. But, yeah, look at those lips. It's doing the whole, the whole kissy face thing. And what's funny is it's got this pointed nose. See how it kind of turns up, this pointed nose? So, it's a ring toss game. So, you, I guess the best score would be to hook it on his nose. I've seen one more of these, but his nose was really jacked up, so I didn't get him, even though I actually liked the clown better. I liked him better, but I thought this was cool. And it's just, it's cardboard, but I just think it's neat. I love it. Well, it don't.
don't want to stand up. Well, here. Oh, and I found this vintage picture frame. Or I guess it's kind of more of an antique. But look at that. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous, heavy frame. And it was $25, which is well worth it because these frames are expensive. So um, I got this and it's got, you know, this arm that comes down to prop it up. But I just thought it was beautiful. I love ornate frames like this. And this guy got a home, and I don't remember ever showing him to you, but um, I don't know. If you guys have an, a, a problem with taxidermy or something like that, then you might want to look away for a minute. <laughs> but this little booger right here got a home. And it's basically just an old cabinet card and a taxidermied mouse head has been in, put in place of the little girl and it's been placed in an old frame but the lady that does these um pocket full of heirlooms she is awesome um and she does a great job now these mice were basically dead frozen mice that were um you know bound for feeding a snake or some kind of lizard or something so she just does her magic with them and does this. And I just think they're so cool and so whimsical that I've got three. And this was number four. And I thought, okay, I'm getting a little bit overboard with this stuff. So I sold one of them. Oh, and you know what else I forgot to show you? I got these at Goodwill, too. And they're marked $4.99 for each roll. And I got the whole um, three pack for uh, $3. And they're beautiful. Look at that. It's like a real lacy, a real lacy, um, you know, fabric. But. I thought that was really awesome. I'm wondering if it was just kind of like leftover from like a wedding or something. <laughs> Vintage craze, the creepier the better. Yeah, me too. I love it. If it's just slightly creepy and makes people uncomfortable, then I love it. Oh, and I found this guy. So it's um, metal manufacturing um, company. And it's an old one. It's got the wooden handle. Um, but it's cool because it's got, see, it's got the witch. And um, then it's got the ghost. And the pumpkins. And this I actually paid up for a little bit. I mean, it was a little over $20. Um, but some of these go for like $50. So I figured I could make maybe double my money on this um, because it's actually in good condition. It's not rust or anything, and it's not, um, you know, it's not missing any of the graphics on it at all. It's got one little ding on here, but, but that's it. Otherwise, it's in great condition, and so many people collect, you know, Halloween, collect Halloween. And um, I don't know. It's just, it's getting harder and harder to get your hands on anything Halloween. These little guys, I can't remember how much I paid for them, but aren't they cute? They're made in Japan, and they are, um, got the cork stoppers, no, um, you know, chips or cracks or anything, but I love clowns like this, and they're riding donkeys, <laughs> so I thought that was really cute. But they kind of remind me of, um, I don't know how you pronounce it. Is it Perio? Per Perriot? It's like French or something or a jester or I don't know, but they're really cute. 
And um, I know I probably pay like $15 or something for them. I know I always, when I find something that's kind of unusual and really old like this, I grab it when I find it because, you know, you never know if you're going to run across it again. Okay, I'm looking. Let me see. Oh, this guy. <laughs> My man, Charlie. I got him. And he is a uh, chalkware. He's a chalkware piece. And he is, you know, he's got a few issues here and there. But, um, and he looks a little suspicious on his neck that maybe his neck has been repaired, like his head broke off or something. I'm not sure. But I love the colors on him because some of them are like way out there. And, um, but this one, I love it. And I love, I love Charlie McCarthy. I don't know why, I just do. <laughs> but I thought he was just an awesome piece, an awesome find. And I paid under $30 for him. So I'm going to make a little bit of a profit, but not, you know, not a lot of profit. But I don't know. I think it's mainly just because I love him so much. And it's kind of hard for me to let go of stuff like this. It really is. But I can't keep everything. You know how that is. And I live in a tiny little house. So, you know. Oh, Edward. You're here. Hey, Edward. Hi. <laughs> And I didn't see that comment. It said, I thought you something. I didn't catch that. And guys, I scored. I thought he might be Mr. Peanut. Oh, no. No. <laughs> I'm not into Mr. Peanut. <laughs> no, Mr. Peanut. Um, Mr. McCarthy, yes. Not Mr. Peanut. And this I brought in the house. And I... And there's only been a couple items that my husband is actually liked and wanted to keep out of all of the hundreds of things that's passed through the house. And believe it or not, <laughs> something I would never in a million years have thought that he would want to keep. This! <laughs> it's gigantic. Um, but yeah, it's got bells on it. It's legs move. It's big. <laughs> it's big. So, um, but you can hear it jingle. And it's two-sided. And it's, you know, it's chippy and everything. But he liked it. And he said he wanted to keep it. So, I now am the proud owner of um, a giant Rudolph. <laughs> Um, I don't know. I didn't see any marks on it that it, if it had been in a store or not. But, I mean, it looks like it. It's really, really nicely made. Um, and you can see, like, the, the eye and everything. Um, and the bells, it goes all the way around. But the screws that are in it, and see, like, the, the legs move. The legs move. Um, so I don't know. But I only paid $15 for this. I mean, that's crazy. I thought it was going to be way more than that. But, yeah, $15. But I was kind of stressing anyways, thinking about, oh, my gosh, how am I going to mail Rudolph in the mail anyways? But then my husband said, when he's seen it, he's like, you know, I don't really like anything that you bring in this house that much, but I love that. So, yeah, I'm keeping it. <laughs> So, yeah. Yeah, it was a great deal. Tammy, hi. Hi, how are you? <laughs> I have, um, you know, most of you guys, when I've been doing I figured today I'd probably hit more people that could come on because of the fact that, you know, it's been a holiday weekend and everybody would be, like, winding down today. Um, but, you know, um, Thrift You Girls is doing their live sale right now, and I thought, oh, crap. I'm probably going to have majority of people over on, uh, you know, Thrift Jews feed right now for their live hoard haul. Um, but, you know, it's no biggie. Um, you can hit replay and just watch it over again. 
Um, okay, and I don't know if you're subscribed to Misty at um, Thrift or Junk or Vintage Hunter, you've seen that I gifted her one of these Misty Mistletoes, and these are made in Japan. They're older pieces, and, you know, they have the bendable arms and legs and stuff, and they're new old stuff. Um, I went back hoping that they still had more of these because I sold out of them and I paid $15 a piece for them. Um, but they had two left, um, one of each. We have the redhead and we have the blonde. And of course, I sent the blonde one to Misty and um, she loved it. So I got one more of each in. And let's see. Oh, this guy right here he is an old um, Japan probably from the 30s and um, I'll thrift you hasn't started yet I thought it said on Instagram they were starting at seven o'clock oh well maybe I misread it I don't know I'm not sure I I don't necessarily buy stuff from them but when I tune in to watch them it's just because I love listening to <laughs> I love listening to the crazy stuff that comes out of their mouth so um, but it's a bank, and I don't know what you would consider this bird, but when I looked it up, it was saying it was some kind of duck, but I don't know, it looked like any duck I've ever seen, but he's a cutie, so I got this guy, and I think he was 15, yeah, the banter, it, it cracks me up, they crack me up, some of the stuff that they, they say, it just, it kills me, um, let me see, oh, I have something else creepy to show you. I forgot to show you this. And believe it or not, um, they're going out the door tomorrow. I've already sold both of them. There's two of them. Um, but these, this right here, um, is very, very heavy. And, I mean, it just looks like a big block of, I don't know, some kind of heavy stone or whatever. Um, but it's actually a salesman sample, burial vault for a cemetery. Um, and they would, salesmen would take this, you know, to the funeral home or whatever, um, who they were trying to sell this to. And this would be, you know, a miniaturized version um, of, you know, what they could purchase. So this is the vault. This is be what, you know, the coffin would go inside of. But, um, yeah, I sold both of these. I had two of them. The other one's more of a copper color, but it's identical to this as far as the texture and everything goes. So, I, um, picked these up from the funeral home, and it was kind of a last-minute thing where I just happened to see them laying on the floor, um, you know, in the basement, and I kind of took a double take, and I'm like, is that what I think those are? <laughs> and he's like, yeah. And I was like, well... They're mine now. So, yeah, believe it or not, the same person bought both of them. And I, I, with shipping, they're over $100 a piece. So why they needed two burial vault samples, I have no idea. But Okay, and you guys know that I love, I love vintage medical. Um, so, um, I found some of these. Um, these are called, um, I guess I call them book plates because they were initially in like a medical book and they just fold out, but, um, I've got a few of them and they're pretty graphic as far as detail goes, but I love this kind of medical stuff that's right here. And then this one, I'm trying to see if there was any, any information as far as how old the book was or anything like that, but it's not saying anything. But there's this one, and it's got the heart and lungs and that on it. So anyways, I got those, and... These, these guys right here, um, I've had some in the past, and I got a few more, um, but they're like, it's like an old glove company that's not in business anymore, and they're like the rubber stamps that they would use, 
This is Greyhound. And um, what this one was used for, I have no idea, but it says Whizbang. And I have a few other ones, like I think Red Bird. It's got like a cardinal on it or something. I can't remember. But they're decent size, and people just use them for, you know, art projects and stuff. Kelly, hi. <laughs> yeah, you caught me this time. I'm, yeah, you caught me. I figured more people would be able to catch me this time, but, um, you know, I wasn't sure. Um, and it's, again, one of those situations where I'm like, okay, um, I'm too lazy to edit and do a regular haul video, and this live thing um, makes life so much easier. <laughs> so, yeah, this is laziness on my part. Um, oh. And these little guys right here, these are, I don't know how old they are, maybe from the 50s. Um, and they're just little, little race cars, like a pink race car. I paid a couple dollars a piece for them. Um, and I probably get double money on them, these little race cars. I thought they were cool. And I got three of them. Now... I love, I love old pictures, and I scored some more. Oh, yeah. Give me thumbs up, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Vintage Craze. Um, but I love old pictures, and um, I got um, some more. I got a hold of some more pictures. And now I have to go through and pick out which ones I want to keep for myself, but I'm definitely going to list some in the, um, in the shop. Um, but this one's cool. He's got, he's all dressed in the nines. He's got his uniform on with his sword. And then this one, the edging is really neat. I don't know how well this is coming off to you because I know sometimes when I do a replay, when the camera has got to focus back in, um, it gets kind of blurry. Oh, they're 7 p.m. Central Time. Okay, yeah, and I'm Eastern Standard is 7 p.m. So that's where I screwed up. And look at this one. Isn't that cute? And this is the last one. So, I grabbed those. And I never run across these old wood rulers. And I um, was looking for some for, um, you know, when I take my pictures to do my listings. So I don't always necessarily have to put the measurements in there. I can just lay the ruler next to it and take the picture. But this one's cool because it's from the J.R. Watkins um, company. And um, this one says National Radio Institute, which I thought was kind of cool. So I grabbed those. And this also is kind of neat. It's Black Amethyst. And it's an ink blotter, and it's an elephant ink blotter. And I paid 15 for this, and uh, he's in excellent condition. And there's a lot of people that, that are back into the dip pens and stuff. Um, so I grabbed this. And believe it or not, um, there... I found a bunch of odd fellows, I guess, like odd fellows and fraternal order of eagles and stuff like that. Um, I found a bunch of sat, I don't know, I guess they're called collars, not sashes, but they're like ceremonial garb that they wear um, and like ribbons and stuff. I found a whole um, 
you've been using the dip pens for years, but finding the blotter paper is a problem. Oh, see, I didn't know that. Well, maybe I'll be holding on to the elephant for a while. <laughs> um, but they had, um, hello from California. Oh, hi. I can't read it. I swear I don't have my glasses on, but hello from California, whoever you are, I'm sorry. My eyes are old, <laughs> and I don't have my glasses on. Um, oh, yeah, but, yeah, but you're right. People do. People do um, collect stuff like that. But, anyways, um, I found a bunch of these. Like I said, there was a, a big box of them. And, um, anyways, they're... They were at the funeral home because anytime one of their brothers, you know, that were in the fraternity or whatever, the members, um, they would um, end up, you know, wearing this stuff and, and being present at the funeral. So, but there's a bunch of cool ones. So this one's got the crossed hammers. And um, this is just a really pretty velvety purple color. But they would wear them, you know, like around, around their neck. And this one, it's got, this one's got tassels and stuff on it. And the embroidery with all the beading and everything, and these tassels feel like they have metal in them. But they're just, they're gorgeous. And I know, <laughs> I've seen a lot of people that have, like, taxidermy, like, deer or whatever else. Um, how old are they? Um, gosh, these probably date back to the, maybe the 30s or 40s, maybe. Maybe older. I don't know. Um, but they hang these around like they're deer, <laughs> like the deer head or something as a, as a way of displaying it. But I'm trying to show you guys here. But it'd go on around like this. Like that. And uh, I just think they're neat. Um, but this one's gorgeous too. It's got all the stars and everything. And this one, honestly, I think I might actually keep for myself because of the color. But look at it. It's got, um, it's got the moon, and it's got a bird, and a beehive, and then a flower. And um, I just thought that one was really pretty. And like I said, I don't know if it was Odd Fellows or something else. I mean, I know it's not Shriners because Shriners usually has like the the hat and then they have the like the crossed swords or something so I'm not exactly sure what it is oh the fox hey what's up I can't say your first name because it's a tongue twister and I don't know how to pronounce it and I don't want to butcher it so but hello okay and then um, along with those um, were some of these right here. And this one I thought was cool just because you can see the hands. They're shake the hands shaking right there on the top portion of it. And um, this one. And this one. So. Okay. Now let me look around. Did I show you? Oh, no, I didn't show you everything. I think this is the last piece right here. Um, uh, yeah. This is the last piece. But, um, I forgot. This was Goodwill, too. Um, and, I mean, you can find these lattice-type plates pretty much all the time. And there's not really all that much value in them. But, um, 
this has got a hand. See that? It's got a hand holding up on this. So that to me right there was awesome because if I find mannequin hands, porcelain hands, wooden hands, anything like that, I love it. So as soon as I seen that, I had to snatch it and I paid $5 at Goodwill for it. And it's got like a metal rod going through the bottom of it. Um, so I'm kind of confused about the maker because the only ones I seen with that metal rod coming through the bottom of it were like made in Germany. So I don't know. I'm a little confused, but needless to say, I think it's still a really neat piece because of that. So anywho, that's it. I'm seeing if I'm missing anybody and I'm squinting here because I'm trying to read it. Okay. I need to wear my glasses. Okay. Um, well, has anybody got any questions or anything? Or do you want to just chat for a minute? Or do you want me to just say goodbye? <laughs> Let me know. Nothing? Somebody tell me something. I'm not seeing anything, so I'm just going to go ahead and end it. So, for everybody who showed up, or was able to show up tonight, I really, really appreciate it. And, um, how am I today? I'm doing fine. <laughs> Keep chatting. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, no, I just... I did an all-nighter last night. Um, I didn't go to bed until, I don't know, it was probably, I was probably, I don't know, about 9.30 this morning until I went to sleep um, because I got all this stuff in and I wanted to, to list the stuff. I mean, it's like pulling teeth to get me to list stuff on Etsy, but then once, um, once I get on there and I start start doing it. Hi, Soul Nate. Hi. <laughs> you just come in. Um, but once I get on a roll, it's like I just keep going and going and going. And the next time I look at the clock, it's like 3 o'clock in the morning. So, And I had to get my son off to his... He, he has like a part-time job that he does just on the weekends since he's in school through the week. And... Um, I had to get up at like 7 o'clock um, to take him to work. So I thought, I'm just going to work through the night. So that's what I did. I worked through the night, and then I come home and went to sleep and got up just in time to go pick him up and uh, stop at the grocery store and buy stuff that I don't need to buy for myself, like chocolate cake and Snickers ice cream bars. <laughs> Who's Sarah Muffin? What am I missing? Yeah, you're tired too. Yeah. Yeah, it's um I mean, I'm I'm wide awake right now, so. <laughs> Your favorite possum? <laughs> Are we talking about Nate? <laughs> yeah. Sarah Okay. You guys are being silly. <laughs> and I couldn't figure out how to get, um, I mean, I don't have a problem yet because I don't have that many subscribers. Oh, hi, Cindy from Mimi's Treasure Cottage. Hi, glad you got to kind of come in on the end here. Yeah, you guys are silly. That's why I like y'all. Because <laughs> you're all goofy. But, um, no, I just, I'm wide awake, so I'm probably going to be up half the night again. So, yeah. Eating my chocolate cake and Snicker bars. Like I need that, like a hole in the head. But anyways, um, other people in my house are probably trying to go to sleep now. <laughs> so I might want to shut up. 
Anything else, guys? I'm waiting patiently. Nothing? Snickers? Yeah. I didn't actually buy the Snickers ice cream bars for myself. I've actually never eaten one. I got them for my kids because they like them. So. Do I have Ouija boards for sale? My husband will not le let a Ouija board into my house. <laughs> They're not allowed in my house. So, no, I don't. I actually picked up one from down the street. And, um, anyways, I wasn't allowed to bring it in the house. I had to leave it in my car. And that's where it stayed until it, it sold. So, yeah. He's weird about stuff like that. He does not like it in the house. So, and... I don't know if you've been watching me for a while. I got this um, really creepy old doll. And uh, that thing lived in my car until it sold too. It wasn't allowed to come in the house either. Oh, your daughter doesn't care for him either. Now, I mean, I don't I don't find anything. Um, I mean, I don't see any big deal in it. But he, he doesn't like it at all. But he's always been more in tune with, you know, that kind of stuff. And I'm oblivious. So, you have a talking board on your wall. <laughs> that sounds neat. Yeah. Okay, guys. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap it up. Thanks for showing up um, and uh, hanging out with me. And if you, um, by chance, miss this live... Um, you know, it'll, um, you can hit replay. I mean, it'll, you'll be able to watch it from the beginning. Um, and also once it's done uploading to YouTube, I mean, it, you'd probably be able to watch it like maybe tomorrow or something. So everybody, thank you for being here. Have a great evening. Um, and, um, I guess I'll see you next time. So, oh, and if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And give me the thumbs up. I always forget to say these things. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Because that's where I usually do most of my updating. So, oh yeah, Happy New Year. I forgot to say that too. <laughs> Somebody just told me Happy New Year and I just, I forgot to tell everybody. So, Edward, thank you. Awesome. I, you're always so supportive. So, I really appreciate it. So, good night, everybody. See you later. And let me see how to turn this off. There we go.